Behind the walls of this isolated farmhouse in Plainfield, Wisconsin, a horrific story unfolded, a story so disturbing that it would inspire one of the most terrifying films in cinematic history, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. But the true story of Ed Gein, the man behind the horrors, is even more unsettling than the film it inspired. Born in 1906, Edward Theodore Gein grew up under the shadow of his overbearing mother, Augusta. A religious fanatic, Augusta preached to her sons about the sinfulness of women, instilling in Ed a deep-seated fear and confusion about sexuality and relationships. His father, George, was an alcoholic, and their family life was far from normal. Ed and his brother Henry were isolated from society, with Augusta forbidding them from having any friends. After the deaths of his father, brother, and eventually his mother, Ed was left completely alone in the family farmhouse. It was after his mother's passing in 1945 that Ed's mental state began to deteriorate, leading to one of the most shocking and macabre series of discoveries in American criminal history. On November 16, 1957, Plainfield hardware store owner Bernice Warden went missing. Suspicion quickly fell on the town's odd, reclusive resident, Ed Gein. When police searched Gein's home, they stumbled upon a nightmare that would forever scar the small Wisconsin town. Inside the farmhouse, authorities discovered not just Bernice Warden's decapitated body, but a grisly collection of human remains. Gein had been exhuming corpses from local graveyards for years, using body parts to craft items such as furniture, masks, and clothing. He had fashioned lampshades and bowls from human skin and skulls, and his most chilling creation, a woman's suit made from the skin of his female victims. Gein confessed to killing two women, Bernice Warden and Mary Hogan, a local tavern owner who had disappeared in 1954. He claimed that most of his grotesque artifacts were made from bodies he dug up from nearby cemeteries, but his obsession with creating his woman's suit was driven by a twisted desire to become his mother. While Gein's victim count was relatively low compared to other notorious serial killers, the horrifying nature of his crimes shocked the nation. Gein was declared legally insane and spent the rest of his life in a mental institution where he died in 1984. Ed Gein's story resonated far beyond the quiet town of Plainfield. His macabre actions became the inspiration for several horror films, the most famous being The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. While the film's plot differs significantly from Gaines' real-life story, many elements were drawn from the chilling details of Gaines' crimes. Leatherface, the film's iconic killer, wears a mask made of human skin, an unmistakable nod to Gaines' grotesque fashion choices. It rubs the lotion on its skin or else it gets the hose again. It's sad when a mother has to speak the words that condemn her own son. Gein's influence extends beyond the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. His disturbing legacy also inspired the character of Norman Bates in Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho and Buffalo Bill in The Silence of the Lambs. These characters, like Gein, were deeply impacted by the control of a domineering mother figure and all share a chilling fascination with skin and death. The story of Ed Gein is a reminder of the darkness that can exist in the most unexpected places. The quiet, unassuming town of Plainfield could not have imagined the horrors hidden behind the walls of Ed Gein's farmhouse. Today, his story lives on in the nightmares of those who hear it and through the terrifying characters he inspired on the big screen. <laughs>